Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another Cosmic Ghost Rider video and another Grandmaster Solo. So a lot of you guys asked for it. You asked for a Grandmaster Solo, man, I will deliver it. I love this fight so much and I love Cosmic Ghost Rider so much, so it was great. I was hoping for some, some really big things in the final phase. You know, up until that final phase, I'm not really able to use Ghost uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider to his full potential using his cycles and everything like that. But in the final phase, that power gain is actually just so huge. Having access to that power gain is really nice. Uh, able to get to uh, multiple special threes and everything like that. So start with the fight here, you know, we're just going for those intercepts. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider seems to have a pretty good light intercept. So uh, yeah, that's the name of the game here. Pretty much dash back, tap the right side of the screen, hit his block, dash back, tap the right side of the screen. It's honestly so easy. Uh, as long as the Grandmaster falls for it, as long as you get a good AI, man, it's it's, it's a piece of cake. Uh, but a couple of things that was really weird in this fight with Cosmic Ghost Rider are uh, the judgments. So you see right there, he throws a special one and I lose all my judgments and then I'm able to restart my judgments so I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug. It seems like a bug. Oh, I'm not sure if maybe that's how Grandmaster works going in between phases. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Ghost Rider, that happens to him right now with the judgments being like shrugged off and then he can reapply them. Um, like Mystic Ghost Rider, never done him with this fight. So yeah, that was just very odd that I found. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter too much at the start here because I'm not really able to fully utilize my phases. So right here, uh, you see the, the power lock also doesn't work on the Grandmaster, which uh, I was expecting that. Uh, but I accidentally push him to NL2, and you know, we were, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider's block efficiency is pretty pretty good, so you know, we were able to tank quite a bit of that. Uh, but I tried to dex the end of it, and uh, I dexed a bit too early, so we, we took some hits. But uh, we triggered an armor up buff, uh, it was one of his judgments, so you know, that just helps to reduce damage a little bit. But uh, yeah, it, everything's going okay. You know, it, it's really until we get to uh, that third phase where we can really see Cosmic Ghost Rider shine. So uh, in this second phase here against the Grandmaster, all we're really trying to do is uh, hit him as many times as possible while also completing all the phases. So right there was Whiff, get that done. And I just want to keep pushing him uh, above a bar of power just so I can keep baiting these specials because every time we bait these specials, we're getting tokens of competence which is just increasing our attack. Uh, so yeah, that's great. And uh, yeah, um, nothing nothing too crazy going on in this phase. You know, our we're not able to get our damage output super crazy yet because to get Ghost Rider's really crazy damage output, you need to get one, the precision, which you need to throw a special two uh, without dexing, which right now we don't have access to our special two. And uh, to get the big fury, you know, you need to use a special three, which right now we don't have access to that special three. So. Right now, this is really all we can do with Cosmic Ghost Rider, but once we, again, once we get to that final phase, we'll be able to do some big things. So uh, yeah, here, uh, just also, you know, try not to get any tokens of blunder. I can get up to five if I just miss a challenge or I, I screw up one of the uh, special attack evades or something like that. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's fine. There's plenty of room for error here. When I was originally doing this fight, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to inflict the damage over time challenge. But then once I got into the fight, I'm like, wait, my L1 applies an incinerate. I can just use that. And uh, yeah, so that's one way to do that. I am running Suicide Masteries though, so I, I will take some recoil damage if, uh, if I do that. But that's okay. Uh, it's not going to be that much damage in the long run. Uh, but, uh, dude, it's just, I really love playing Cosmic Ghost Rider, like, he, he feels so good to play with his combos and everything, like, shooting the guns on, like, the mediums, oh, it, it feels great, man. Intercepting with him feels really good, it's just, oh, I, I, I really, really hope I get this guy as a six star. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grind for him as a five star. Uh, I, I think I'll go for some crystals. Uh, like right when they drop at like uh, 10 a.m. PST on uh, Thursday, it should be the 22nd. I'll go for like 20 crystals, upload that, go for the six star or, or, or the five star. And if I don't get either of them, then that day we start the arena grind and uh, we just go hard in the arena. Um, try to do as much as we can without refreshing, uh, save some units and get the five star just in case because then we won't have a warlock situation or a guardian situation. And what, what, what those situations are is I just can't, 
I simply can't pull either of those champions from a crystal. So, you know, th that's the one way I can guarantee get me get myself at least a five-star Cosmic Ghost Rider by grinding his arena. You know, guarantee it, and then uh, I'll be good. You know, I'll have at least a five-star, because, I mean, I really want a six-star, but, hey, at least a five-star I'll, I'll take, because the five-star can do some pretty wild stuff uh, himself. Uh, you don't need a six star. It's just I have the the tier five cosmic catalyst, and I've never wanted to give a tier five cosmic catalyst to anyone more. So, yeah, uh, everything's going pretty good at this point. We uh, just need to get through one more phase, get him down to ten percent, and then uh, we'll be able to push him to the third phase, and that's when we'll really be able to get stuff going. So here, get him wounded, and I want to I want to get him to thirty percent, but I also want to push him against his wall. So here now I can just start releasing heavy attacks and Cosmic Ghost Rider is actually able to spam heavies in the corner and his heavy actually looks super cool and it actually does a lot of damage. Uh, we used one of the heavy attacks in his wounded phase and it actually hit the damage cap uh, which was pretty dope. And yeah, it's just, it looks it looks so cool. Man, I didn't realize that you can actually spam it against the wall too. I, I didn't I really didn't think you'd be able to, but you totally can. So you see we just got off like 20, 20 heavy attacks <laughs> against this guy. Um, so the reason for getting off so many of them was just to, to build up a lot of power and uh, mainly to build up power because uh, now I'm close to three bars of power uh, and once I drop that, that'll give me a nice little fury buff. So uh, yeah, that'll be really nice. So here now I can actually start like getting some judgments going. I can really play actually play Ghost Rider now. Uh, so here we get Strike his block, which is fine. Hit that block a little bit. But I really want to be baiting out these special attacks still because I don't want him to get to, to two bars of power in this final stage because... You know, I, I can take it in the block, but if you get him to two bars of power and then he gets this um, strike my block uh, phase, he's not going to throw that special. And sometimes he can just go right to a special three, and it's it's so silly. So here we get the inverted controls. Uh, I was ready for it. And I got to play inverted, and then we get him wounded here. So uh, we're going to get off our special three, and then that'll give us the big fury. So right here I actually hit... I, charge my heavy attack and I hit him with it just for extra damage and I'm still I still have a little bit of that wounded timer left you don't actually have to hit the opponent with the heavy to get the aptitude uh, but I figure why not so now I'll drop the special three it's gonna deal the damage cap of mount and then we're gonna have an increased fury and then right here I don't even know what happened um, but I eat an L1 uh, and so I get three tokens of blender, but I don't die and then I hit a really clutch intercept right there Getting back some of my health through adrenaline, which is really nice. I Love adrenaline man. That's another great thing about six stars. So here my dashes go back to normal uh, And so I have three tokens of blender if I get the five uh, He goes to special three and if he uses that special three that's game over So I gotta not make another mistake. So here we get uh, knock him down So we're just gonna toss that L1 just to knock him down right there and uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the power gain pretty soon here. Again, you can see when he uses his special attack, all my judgments reset, which is super weird, man. I'm not really sure why it's like that. But yeah, right there we activate that power gain, which is just so nice just to be able to, to get that power without actually having to, to hit him too much uh, in this fight. So able to just throw my special two to get that knockdown. Here we go, apply some armor breaks. Here he's at two bars of power and I don't want him to throw it. So I'm just gonna chill. Uh, let him get wounded, and then uh, yeah, one combo is actually enough to just kill him. So this is perfect. You know, we, we've gotten into this final phase, but uh, we're in a bit of a tricky spot here because I only have 14% health, and we're, we're both. He's just gaining ground on me here. I need to hit an intercept here, but I I, I can't <laughs> hit it at the wrong time. So I wait for that perfect moment, uh, nail the intercept, and then we're able to just get some backdrafts going here. Once you get him into this intercept loop. You know, the hard part is just starting the loop, but once you get into it, it's pretty safe. So here, uh, we got him wounded at 1%, and that's GG, man. Dropped the final special three, and that's uh, that's game over for the Grandmaster. So another solo in the books, and uh, yeah, this one was fun, man. It was really fun with Cosmic Ghost Rider. So, again, uh, I don't know if uh, it was a bug or not uh, with his judgments being reset. It, it seemed like a bug to me. But uh, may maybe not. Maybe when the Grandmaster like throws his L1, he like takes all the effects off him, or maybe it's some inter interaction like that. I'm really not sure. I haven't actually read the Grandmaster's abilities um, like since I did the fight, so there could be some some other intricacies going on in there that uh, may be the reason for that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, just just putting it out there, it could be a bug. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this Cosmic Ghost Rider video. If you guys enjoyed the solo, drop a thumbs up. 
Uh, if you guys want to see any other Cosmic Ghost Rider videos, you know, let me know if you guys have any ideas. Uh, it's, it's really now, I, I actually, like, because we I still got him on the beta, but I really want him on the main server. I want to make war videos with him. Uh, you know, I really want him actually on my account. So we're going to get this guy. It should be a, a fun arena grind. We'll stream a whole bunch of that. Um, haven't done a, a feature grind in quite a while, so it'll be pretty fun to do that. Um, and just see how much points I can put up without uh, spending units. And maybe we'll refresh at the end if I get a little nervous. We'll see. But yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Peace out.